Renu Omokri and others to storm New York, harass Buhari back to Nigeria. Now the news in detail. A Nigerian sociopolitical activist, Renu Omokri, has expressed readiness to storm New York on Friday with other activists to harass President Muhammad Buhari back to Nigeria. The former president aide made this known via a live video on his verified Facebook page on Thursday. Daily Post records that President Buhari on Tuesday jetted out of the country to New York, United States, to participate in the ongoing high-level meetings of the 76th session of the United Nations General Assembly, UNGA. Renner, who expressed sadness about the current situation and economic situations of the country, said that he is currently in the United States for the mission. He said, and I quote, Join me tomorrow at 12 for harass, for hashtag harass Buhari out of New York, 8292nd Avenue, New York. I paid heavily to come to New York just because of my love for Nigeria. I am doing this because when the president came into power, the Nigerian debt was just 12 trillion. But as I speak to you now, the country's debt has multiplied by three. We now have 36 trillion naira, he added. In my own opinion, it is quite saddening. It is quite saddening that since the... Since... The present government came into power. A lot of trips have been made. A lot of trips have been made outside the country. Trips, even when things are at the brick, as in the worst, it is seeming like the worst will happen the next minute. The worst will happen the next minute. There will be killings everywhere. People will be displaced. Lives and property will be lost. A lot of things will be happening. Banditry and all. Insecurity on the right. Even at the peak. This president. This um, present government. Will be out. Will be out of Nigeria. Okay. Let's say for, let's say for instance. Okay. This one. Let's say this one. This one. It's, it, it's, it's what concerns the UN. And we are. Always hoping that whenever he goes out there for these visits, that he goes there and he requests the advice of other members of the UN, of the UN, of the of the meet of the assembly, and they put her together and maybe giving some advice that he, when he comes back here will make things a little bit better. It is supposed to be a thing of learning and implementing. You are going to give advice and you too, you are going to be giving advice. And when you come down to your place, you sieve out the one you think they're not good and put into practice the ones you think are very good and will move your country ahead. But what pains us most reasonable Nigerians is that Buhari will stand before international communities and converse for Palestinian liberation. Exactly. He will go there. He will not put our issues out front. He will even advise other nations. He will help others in telling them, in telling them, please let these people go. This thing you are doing to this country is not right. And this and this and that. And when it comes to us, he will not even table the matter. Back home, when we protest, the matter will not even be looked into. It is really, really barbaric and the seats of the highest order. There is nothing bad at all for any region to ask for separation. It is constitutionally legitimate locally and internationally. Yes, because if you have been going and coming back, you have been having several visits, and I believe as we are going and coming back in every gathering, we are supposed to be learning something in as much as contributes. And whatever you are learning, you're not supposed to learn it and keep it upstairs. You're supposed to learn it and implement it. There should, be there should be a practical example of, okay, this and this and this are the ideas. You call your people together. 
this and this and this are what I have learned from there. We can put this into action and we can put this into action to see if we can move or settle this particular issue. If it's, if it is in the area of security, you do so. If it is in the area of um, social amenities, you do so. If it's in the area of economy, you do so. But no, it doesn't happen. Our president go and aid others in speaking for themselves. Will not speak anything concerning his community. And when he comes back, he comes back as if he never left. He comes back as if he never left. Like, the things going on in Nigeria doesn't in any way concern him. And it is very disheartening and saddening. And this, the recurring of this, the going and coming back and nothing is able to show for it, the going and coming back and nothing is being able to show for it, there is nothing that is being implemented economically or security-wise to see if at least those two places are going to make Nigerians a better place, if implemented. Then those that are tired, the people, see they're tired of waiting for the government to do anything. They're not going to resort into agitating. If the country is not going to make itself better, let us pull out and let us see how we can make ourselves better. These are the things causing it. These are exactly the things causing it. We cannot tell our president go up and say, oh, the Palestinian government, oh, this particular government, oh, please do this for the people of the Palestine. And when he comes back to Nigeria, he even, if you even agitate, he is going to, the military will not allow you rest. Even if it is a peaceful protest, even if it is a peaceful agitation, people will, the, the military, he will not even allow you rest. The same thing he claims, um, he claims, uh, 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 the the seats to say outside organize us outside the country and other presidents and other um country governments are saying him as okay this man he he knows what he's doing he has a clue on how to handle his situation back home and when he comes back home and when exactly he, what he asks others to do if it is done over here he we are punished for it it is saddening i must say so saddening Then, Reno Omokuri is saying he paid heavily to be in eunuch for the interest of the people in Nigeria. Well, I would say nobody asked you to do so. And um, you are doing this for your own interest and uh, the interest of others. Since you have said you want to do so, I don't think it should be announced that you paid heavily to do so. If you are going to have people who are going to be fighting to, to rescue Nigeria, who are going to be fighting to do the things right, I don't think there is need for anyone to come. I, 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 paid, I paid. You have not even done it. We are not even sure if the protest is going to happen. But please and please, if you are going to...